So, welcome back to Fishing with Vance. On today's video, I'm going to do a review and and go through this Samurai Tactical Fishing Bag. Um, and uh, just I'm going to go through how I have it set up, what I like about it, what I don't like about it. It's really a uh, fishing backpack. Um, and uh, I'm going to try not to move around so much today. And I, I cut this video once and it was I moved around too much, so I had to do it over again. So here we go. We're going to do it again. I've got three cameras on it this time. Hopefully I can, uh, hopefully I can get through it without screwing up too much. So. Uh, when I go to open it, it's going to be tough to do with one hand, so some of it will have to come off my hat cam, and we'll go from there. Anywho, before I get started, just wanted to say thanks everybody for watching. Haven't been able to fish much lately. Uh, we got some uh, we got some issues going on here at the uh, little Vance compound, so uh, haven't been able to fish, but we'll be back at it soon enough. In the meantime, thought I'd do a quick video to go through this samurai. This is the samurai. Yeah, yep, that's what it is. Yep, the Samurai Tactical Fishing Bag, backpack. So, I really don't use this thing as a backpack. Um, I throw it right on the utility table of the truck, or I'm sorry, the, the Pelican Bass Raider. And I really don't use it um, as a backpack. Whenever I fish off the bank, um, we have a different, a different bag uh, that we use for carp and things like that. So, um... It's really not I can't give it a full review just because like I said I, I don't really use it as a backpack I use it more as a tackle box but that's okay I still use it uh, nonetheless so let's go through it let's get right into it so here we go um, I'll do the outside first while I hold this and then when I start to get on the inside then I'll switch cameras but overall this bag is is uh, I'd have to say it's pretty sturdy it's it's I would say it's well made. Um, it has some pretty heavy straps back here. Uh, I don't use it as I said this way, but if you were going to use it uh, to carry uh, to the shore, uh, it's very it has a lot of adjustable adjustable straps. Heavy duty, like I said, it's well made. I can't remember what I paid for this. I'll look it up. And uh, I got it at Dick Sporting Goods. And um, I can't remember what I paid. I want to say around 80 bucks, but uh, I'll look it up. I think I got might have got it on sale, but I'll look it up and, and put the description up here or over here or somewhere. Anywho, all right. So pretty well made in that sense. Good strap to carry it uh, on and off the boat. On the outside here, it does come with a uh, a detachable uh, pliers uh, holder. I have mine on there because I don't. I, uh, I, like I said, I only use this on the boat, so I keep it there, but it does come with that. This side you know, uh, compartment, and maybe I'll open I won't be able to get them back closed again with one hand, but um, anyway, I don't have much in here. I think I have a spinner bait, and uh, you guys know how much I just crush it with spinner baits, so I always have to bring them. So anyway, all right, we'll leave them open as I pull them open. All right, so some of the other things up front here. This is one of my favorite features of it. It has this nice glasses case. I keep my fishing um, prescription sunglasses back in here, and that way I always have them, and uh, they're protected. It's the only thing I keep in there. And then we'll get into all these other things. I keep my cell phone in here, and uh, that's the only thing I put in here. I can zoom down in there. It's, it's felt lined, so... You know, if you're going to pop your cell phone in there, it, it slides in there pretty nice. So uh, this is a Note 10 Plus, so it's a little bit of a big phone. Um, but it does fit in there pretty nice. And it protects it. And uh, that's one, another thing I really do like about the bag. All right. Moving over to this side, I've got another pair of pliers that, that's on a... You know, lanyard here and also have my line cutter attached to one of the uh, one of the zippers it does come with these nice zippers I don't know if you can see that or not it comes with these these pretty nice zippers and uh, they do work well 
Uh, I have no complaints with how well they open and close. I probably have so much junk in here that it makes it tough for the bag to close one-handed. But anyway, so it comes with these nice things. So I have a uh, um, these uh, boomerang line clippers on here. These work pretty nice. I don't know if you guys use those or not, but they work real well, even for braid, even though I don't use braid. Uh, all right, over on this side of the bag has another side pocket here. I think down in there I have a a, uh, a, a utility knife or, or a all-purpose knife, and then a measuring tape and some SD cards. So nothing much on the side. Don't really use the side pockets uh, all that much. Sorry for moving the camera. All right, we'll leave that open. All right, moving on. So. The top of the bag, and this is just how I have it set up. You guys can you know, set up differently. But in the top of the bag here, I keep plastics that I can get that I want to get to quickly. The ones that trip in and trip out each and every fishing trip, you know, inevitably I end up using. So first up, the zoom, the zoom flukes. So uh, those of you who know me and know I like this bait. Um, these are the Zoom, the baby bass flukes. Um, I have them in albino, baby bass, and I think smoke and shad. But um, those usually get tossed. Of course, you're talking your, your perfect plastics, fat baby finesse. Um, and I have that in all multiple colors, as you know. And then, last but not least, my Gary Yakamono Sankos, a red lime champ, red shad laminate. So that's what I put in the top of the bag. Again, this is something that I can just get to quickly. I usually head to the lake with the idea I'm going to try various things, and eventually these guys end up on the on one of the rods somewhere, and so I keep those in the top so that I can get to them pretty quick. All right, this. This section of the bag, it's pretty nice. It has multiple compartments in here. Hope you can see this. There I just keep some uh, uh, some Advil in case my back starts hurting. And then I keep down in here just sort of whatever lures that I'm, you know, sort of hot on right now. Right now I'm sort of addicted to these JLSL4 shad wraps. And uh, you guys have seen these before. This is that JLSL4 that's a jointed the jointed shad wrap so I've been throwing that thing like crazy so I bought a bunch of them so now I any lure that's sort of top of mind I throw them right here just in case if I go out there and I have various colors here I throw them up here too and they don't end up in, in the other boxes this is sort of my new baits or new lures that I'm trying out go there over here the all-important uh, hand sanitizer God knows we can't be anywhere without hand sanitizer these days or else who knows what could happen. All right, <clears throat> moving on. This section, this, this is a nice mesh bag. What I keep in there are my nails and O-rings. Uh, guys that uh, follow the channel know that uh, I, I do throw that Sanko a lot and I like to peg it with that nail. I don't know if you can see that or not. Change that, there we go. I like to throw those nails in there. If you haven't seen that, um, go back, check out some of the videos. You'll see me rigging a Sanko and putting that nail in the end. It's nothing magical, but it does work. All right. In here, I keep my assessment of, or assessment, I keep my assortment, sorry, of hooks. And all in a rubber band. These are either the, you know, my O, my, um, Octopus hook, octopus can't say that octopus hooks <laughs> uh, for wacky. Then my Arky tube jig heads. Uh, my uh, Gamagatsu wide gap hook for well, pretty much everything else, flukes and uh, worms and uh, various sizes of those. And then I do keep an enticer up there just in case I'm trying to punch down through. I haven't really done that much this year. I probably should because um, I'm not really a Texas rig bullet weight kind of guy. I like things 
mojo, meaning I like uh, to pinch off a couple of split shots as they're known. And here's also where I keep the split shots. Um, <clears throat> I keep my split shots right up here also, so I can quickly get to them. All right, so that's all I keep up to run. I think overall from a bag perspective, it has a lot of nice compartments up here. Again, nice zippers. Here it's cooperating and pretty much closing for me right now, which I appreciate. All right, moving on to the last section is the bottom of this bag. And again, this is the Samurai Tactical Fishing Bag. I probably have it overloaded, but God knows you can never take too much to the lake. All right, <clears throat> now, down in here, this is separated into two compartments. You have the top compartment, and I've seen other guys talk about this bag, and they have actually put drinks in here. If you're going to take this along the shore, it's lined. So maybe you could throw a couple cans of, uh, you know, soda or pop, however you say it in that section i don't use it for that i use it for additional soft plastics and bring a cooler but so in here we have some we have some hoochie coochies and these are baits that i do throw but not usually not my go-to then the bigger kvd these are the six and a half inch finesse worms um then some sort of off-brand paddle worm or paddle baits. Um, should throw these soon. When I get back on the water, I'll throw these here going into fall. I like how those look. These are the uh, what are they called? These are the Eufala Special. I don't know. Kind of have a glare there. We'll try those. And then obviously tubes. Haven't had ever since spring. Sorry, ever since spring, haven't had much luck on tubes. Um, They've been getting out fished by old uh, old Gary there, so. But I do keep tubes just in case, so. That's what I keep in that middle section. All right, the bottom section is where, and, and the bag comes with some extra rubber bands. The bag comes with three boxes, uh, and uh, they're okay. They're not to the quality of Plano boxes, and so I took those out and put in my own Plano boxes in here. So it holds three full, three boxes that are this size. And so I'll show you that in a minute. But so this box is just, I take my Rapalas. These have various jointed Rapalas in them. Like that. And then it has, you know, a box of lipless and a box of or square bills I'm sorry and a box of various you know whopper plopper some square bills just various movement baits but the point is is you can I'm doing this with one hand so it's way easier with two um, you can fit three of these boxes in here now, this bag does get kind of heavy But, as you can see, it holds three boxes pretty nice. So, I would say, the one thing I see about this bag, and again, it's probably because of the way I'm using it. See how it sags down? <clears throat> now, I will fill that up with, with gear, this gear right here, and it does do a better job. But eventually, right here, this, this zipper, see how that's bending? It makes it tough to zip it up, even with this stuff in here. And I've tried it different ways. I've put less weight up here trying to <clears throat> get that zipper to stay a little more taunt and would work a little better but it really doesn't it's really a two-handed operation for the most part especially over here but again i think it might be because i have so much stuff in there so that's uh, sort of on me but all right i'm not gonna be able to get that zipped up with one hand but that's okay so that's the video guys that's the breakdown of this bag now would i buy this bag again that's usually what you know i always ask my my family when they get something at a restaurant or they order something out at a restaurant or they buy something i always ask them would you buy it again <clears throat> if the answer is no it's not that great 
I mean, it's it's okay, but if you if you would not buy it again, if you bought something else, then I don't know. You can't really give it a high score. For instance, let me real quick. You know, if tomorrow my Pelican Bass Raider got a hole in it and sunk, I would go out the next day and get another Pelican Bass Raider. I love that boat, and I would get another one the very next day. Um, <clears throat> same thing with like my Arbor spinning reel. Um, I love that thing. The day it breaks, I'll buy another one. So that's how you know you're getting the highest, highest of price. So back to the bag. Would I buy this bag again? Uh, I'm going to say honestly, no, I wouldn't. Um, I don't hate the bag. I don't regret buying it, but I would probably not buy this again if I had to do it over again. Now there, I did get it zipped one-handed. And uh, I mean, I can't really complain about the bag in the sense that it's doing everything as designed. The zippers are good, it's well made, um, but I just don't think that for what I'm using it for, I don't. I wouldn't buy it again. I would probably get something different um, and will next time whenever I get grow tired of this thing. So, but anyway. So overall, though, I can't really slam the bag. I wouldn't buy it again, but I think the way I'm using it is not the absolute way that it's designed to be used. So I would say if I was going to give this a score, when I give reviews, it's out of 100%, like the old PC Gamer days. So I'm going to give this a score of 70. Um, it's still good, good enough to buy. I think I paid between $60 and $80 for it. I'll look that up. But I would give this bag a 70% uh, for a review. Not horrible, you know, certainly worthy of, of consideration, but I think there's better bags out there. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let me know how you set your bag up or what your thoughts are on this. I'd love to hear from you guys on what you use if you're if you cut over to being mostly, you know, tackle bags or if you're using you know the old school talk tackle boxes or uh the the soft tackle boxes with with uh plano boxes in them and just what it is you use i see a lot of guys that use a lot of different things but mostly on tackle bags let me know what kind you use and how you set yours up or different not necessarily how you set them up but how you would set this up differently if if uh you were going fishing so Anyway, I hope this helps. If you're thinking about buying this Samurai bag, I can't tell you absolutely do not buy it. Uh, but on the other hand, I'm not going to tell you it's the best bag ever either. So I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching. Again, haven't been on the water much. Have some issues here we got to deal with. And then I'll be back out there before the season's over for sure. In the meantime, I'll probably do some uh, fishing reviews and uh, fishing equipment reviews just to give you guys some videos and keep it going so give me the comments love them please subscribe if you haven't share the video help uh, fishing with vance grow again if anybody wants a sticker go to fishingwithvance.com and go to the contact tab and if you do that and it'll send me your information and i will happily for free send you out sticker i have uh, lots of stickers and uh, i have a few face masks if you want one of those uh, this one's mine, so I won't send you that one, but I have brand new ones in a bag. I don't have a ton of those, but if you want one and you're willing to wear it, by all means, let me know and I'll send you one. So, all right, I'm going to wrap it up here, guys. I appreciate you watching. Thanks thanks so much for, uh, for being part of Fishing with Vance. I will see you next time, hopefully on the water, and uh, see you next time on fishingwithvance.com. Bow down. Oh, 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 oh,